Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I am from Western New York. I almost forgot to say that. <laughs> I did, I almost did and then I thought of Blue Bike and Doyle. He was gonna say it, I'm sure, if I didn't say it. And then Jim would say it too because he's right there. He's over there. Yes, he is. Yeah, I'm here. He's over there. <laughs> he's there. Um, today I'm going to show you the snake gourd what I did with it. I had a lot of questions about the snake gourd. They had never seen a snake gourd before and neither had I until I grew it. But mine, it still looks so different than everybody else's. But you'll see me cut it. It's a real joy watching that. Then you'll see how I cooked it and then I tasted it. I actually tasted it on camera. And I tasted it warmed up in the microwave and it's really got a good taste. Then I decided I'd like to fry it a little bit. So I took a piece and I fried it in baking grease and it was really good too. So I haven't decided how I'm actually going to eat it. I probably, I'm not sure, I still have it in the dish. Mm, I haven't decided how I'm going to eat it, but I know I'm going to eat a little bit at a time. Um, but it is very, very, very good. It's way better than um, the zucchini squash. The zucchini squash had a mushy feel in my mouth whenever I ate that. This doesn't. The, to your fingers it felt spongy, but to your taste it felt like you were chewing, you know, like if you had cooked pasta and it wasn't quite done all the way. That's how it felt, but it was still soft. It was not, it wasn't a raw feeling. It was actually very, very good. No, Surprising. Well El Dante, yes, it was El Dante, um, but it was really very good. Well, enjoy the little video of the clips that I took of it, and I'll see you at the end of that. This is the smallest of the snake gourds, and I'm going to try and cut it and cook it and see what it's like. So we'll see. I'm, I might have to peel it. I'm not sure. It's got a very very smooth skin and it's very tough holy macaroni oh my goodness well we're gonna stab it like it's a I don't know we're gonna her oh it does I don't know oh my goodness how are we gonna do this I better get a maybe a cleaver I guess we'll go with a cleaver we'll try it on your mark get set oh and it's tough we'll try again and again, that's pretty good. I, whoops, I went off the line. I'll try again. Whoops, I went off the line again. Oh my goodness. Heck of a, oh, there we go. Okay. Well, here's what I've got so far. This is tough. My goodness. And somebody asked how it hung from the, from the um, vine without falling. These things are strong, the, the end. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Jim actually had to use um, trimmers or clippers, strong ones to get this off. Well, we'll try and take off that. Sounds like a piece of wood. Maybe I have to hit harder. Ugh. Oh! And it flew. It's scary using these things. It has a really tough skin on it. Look at how thick, look how thick that is. It's that far. I think I'll just put it in the oven. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Put it in the oven and hope it softens. And the seeds that I planted were black. These seeds are white, but they feel like there's something in them. Put it in the oven and see what happens. Well, I whacked off the other end, just for the heck of it, and I thought, well, I will try and see if I can split it down the middle by sticking the knife in the thing. And guess what? It's going down. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Whoa. And it went down. It did go down. We'll see if we can go down on the other side and make it open up. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Like, wow. Okay. Whew, 
I got it. Look at that. I split it. Oh my goodness. Look at all the seeds. We'll take the seeds out. They're big seeds that are in it. I think I'm going to try and... I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll, I'll bake it. I don't think I could peel it. I wanted to peel it and fry it is what I wanted to do. But I don't know if that's possible. I mean, am I supposed to eat this part or just the outside part? Well, usually, usually you eat just the outer part. The spongy stuff is usually not edible. So we'll probably take that out. We'll get a spoon and do that. Put that there. Actually, I'll put that over there. I'm still in the frame. Okay. I guess I'm going to try and do this. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this stuff, but we will we will pull out the spongy stuff where the seeds are, and then I will bake it. I have never eaten a gourd, but I've heard they're supposed to be pretty tasty. I don't know how others ate it. Let me see if I can... Whoa. Even this stuff is is tough to scooch out. Oh my goodness. I should be going to the gym, huh? I haven't been going to the gym. Those of you that have asked, that's why I haven't talked about it. I haven't gone. You know, the weather gets a little cold, and I prefer to stay home. So that's what I've been doing. I haven't been going out. You have a texture. If you don't like the feel of squishy, mushy stuff, this would be not good. I know like when I was at the school, kids would not want to touch things that felt like this. And when we had to carve the pumpkin, <laughs> it was funny watching them not wanting to put their fingers in it. I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet. And I'm going to cook it bottom side down, or face down, so that like you would a squash sometimes. I'm going to give it a try. Okay, there's the one. All scooched out. I don't know what size these are supposed to be when you do eat them. This one may be way beyond. I don't know. Because I've never had these before. And I don't even know if I'm going to like the taste of it. I'm not a big summer squash or zucchini squash eater. I like them fried and battered, but with being on keto, you can't batter anything, so we'll see what it's like when I get it cooked. Mushy gushy. Well, I'll get back to you when it's cooked. I'm going to just, I'm going to put it in a cookie sheet and put it down like this with a little water in there and let it cook, bake in the oven. I think I'm going to put it at 350 and see how long it takes to get soft. I have no idea. We'll give it a try. I think this pan is big enough. Yep, it will fit. Well, yep, it fits. Okay. There's the two babies. Add a little water. A lot of times, people will preheat the oven. I found that it's only important when you're um, going to bake something. It needs to be at that temperature. But my mom always would put stuff into the oven before it was up to temperature if it was like she was making a roast or something because why waste that heat and these I guess are going to go to the chickens because I don't know this I'm not going to even try to split I had the squash in the oven for oh gosh probably almost two hours and the shell is still hard as a rock it's cooled now so and this is what it looks like after it's been cooled it still sounds hard as a rock I'm going to scrape it out and see what happens from there okay we'll scrape some out and see what it's like I hope it's cooked it was in there a long time mmm still kinda hard it's still too hard I don't know 
it's scraping out, but it still feels kind of hard. But I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cook it anymore. We'll see what we can get out of it. This is so. This is a, an experiment, I guess. Be interesting to know how others have cooked this. Well, that's the empty shell. Still hard as a rock. Oh my goodness, it's still hard. It's really hard as a rock. It is strange. It feels, it feels rubbery. So, warm it up a little bit, try a little bit, and I'm going to fry a little bit. Give it that a try. Okay, this ought to be interesting. I um, warmed this up in the microwave. It's still steaming. I'm going to try a little bit before I salt it, just to see what it'll be like. I'm going to take this much. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Sort of tastes like zucchini squash. Not bad. It's got a good flavor. Now we'll put a little salt on it. Putting a little salt on. And I'll take another, another piece. Very good, but an awful lot of work for something that's Mm, this is good. It actually is good. Mm. I like that it has a little bit of a chew to it. It's not it's not spongy. But it's like when you're cooking your pasta and you still have a little bit of tooth to it. I got a little more salt. This is good. Mm -mm -mm. So, if you want to have um, gourd, snake gourd, mm. it's a lot of work getting it out of the shell, but it's very tasty. Mmm. I don't like squash. Mm hmm. Got a good taste. My goodness. Actually, I'm enjoying this. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm going to pass on the frying it. Tastes good just like it is. It sort of, sort of reminds me of um, tame burdock. I bet you this would taste good fried then if it's sort of tame like but then I'd have to roll it in flour to get the full flavor so I guess I'll just eat it like it is but it does it sort of reminds me of of um if you've ever had burdock garduni is what it's called in um Italian it's really good this is good mm, I ate it all gone it's all gone I'm going to enjoy this. I don't know how many carbs it has, but I'm going to enjoy it. Well, thanks for watching this part of it. Well, now I've fried the um, snake gourd. I'll show you what it looks like fried. I just fried it in baking grease. Everything's better in baking grease. Of course. Now I'm going to put a little salt on it because it did taste better with a little salt. We're going to try it now with, um, see what it tastes like fried. Tastes good both ways. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's tasty stuff. Who would have thought I'd be eating on camera? It's really good. So, if you would like snake gourd, it's a lot of work to get it out of the shell, but it's pretty tasty. Mmm. I hope it's not high in carbs. 
Otherwise, I just ruined today. No. I've done very good all day. Wouldn't be the first day. I uh, know. Yesterday, I ended with M&M's. <laughs> Not good. With peanuts in them. Mmm. <laughs> very good. Well, I'll be back again, I'm sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the gourd, snake gourd. I almost wanted to say gourd squash. It's not a squash, although it is the squash family. It's family member. Um, but anyways, the, the snake gourd, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you ever wish to grow them, I, I'm going to grow them again next year. But next year, I think I'm going to, because I do have some now, and I'm going to see about cooking it when they're a lot younger, because you will see, I'm, you saw how tough the skin is. I have to talk like I'm, you've already seen it. It's like, I haven't shown it to you, but I've shown it to you. Well, I hope you all have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.